Have a date with the angel. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Presented by the Plymouth Dealers of America, who proudly sell and service the beautiful new Plymouth for 1957. The time, about six months after Vicki and Gus Angel were married. The plot, forgive me, but have you ever wanted to belt somebody? The characters, loud. Think of a few more charades, Charlie. Be back in a minute. I want to see about the coffee. Oh, Gus, they're nice. Yeah, honey, but just one thing. I wish you'd stop mentioning insurance in front of the Bennetts. I thought that was why we were having them over. Well, yes, it is, but it's going to take months to sign them up. You know how I operate as a, as a counselor. I know, dear. Sneaky. Ah, <laughs> uh, honey, you're wonderful. If it weren't for you, we'd still be calling the Bennets by their last name. Get up. Here we are. 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 Here a yeah. wedding ring. Golf hanger. Miss Joy. Miss Oh, Miss Um, Kirby. Uh, uh, ocean. A dip. The railway. Oh. Uh, Bear Market. Mississippi. Oh, how did you get it, honey? I didn't even cut the D off the dippy yet. <laughs> I don't mean the game. This is Biloxi, Mississippi on the phone. Oh, 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 oh. oh that must be uh, <laughs> Vicky's oldest sister. She lives in Biloxi. Oh, we know some people who just moved to Biloxi. Us, uh, the Johnson. Oh, and was I glad to see that useless son of theirs leave. He was always skulking around our daughter Joyce. Great. Oh, well, how nice to hear from you. Is anything wrong? Wheeler? Well, we'd love to have him. Just a minute. Grace wants to send Wheeler out on his vacation. He's dying to see Southern California. Does he know how crowded it is? <laughs> <laughs> Gus said he'd be thrilled, Grace. Uh, Wheeler's Vicky's nephew. Oh, how old is he? Oh, Wheeler must be about 16. I've never seen him. Our Joyce will be 16 in the spring. A teenager. <laughs> Are you going to have a ball? What do you mean? She means they're horrible. <laughs> oh, Charlie, they are not. They're lovable. Oh, yeah? Well, how about that lovable string bean who fixed my car? It cost me 50 bucks to get it unfixed. He told you it wasn't his fault. Oh, sure. He told me. Everybody leaves a wrench in the crankcase. <laughs> Grace, will you stop your worrying? <laughs> I'll tell you what to do with this kid, Gus. The minute he walks in the door, build it. <laughs> Of him from the minute he walks in the door. <laughs> well, I'll cook things that'll tempt his appetite. Tempt it? They eat the hinges right off the refrigerator. <laughs> you know, fine, fine, dear. <laughs> Goodbye. My sister's boy Wheeler's coming out for a visit. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, but you might not realize it till he goes home. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Vicky, there. Well, they're, they're just everything at once. They sleep anywhere, anytime. They're children one minute and adults the next. <laughs> they're graceful and awkward. Oh, but they are wonderful once you get used to them. The trick is getting used to them. <laughs> Come on, honey. We better let the angel rest up for Wheeler. <laughs> well, he won't be here for another week. It'll take you that long to nail down the furniture. <laughs> Vicky, and you bought out a sports shirt? That's the fourth one you've had on since you got here. I take another shower. Another shower? I want to make a good impression when I meet Uncle Gus. You think I'm good health? 
<laughs> I'm sure I can't do something to help. I'm nope. the oven up higher. No, it's fine just as <laughs> is, thank you. And turn down. No. <laughs> I mean, no, really, Wheeler. It's just where I want it. I love to cook. Mother keeps throwing me out of the kitchen. Is <laughs> <laughs> sure there something I can't do to help? Yes, come to think of it, you can get off and clean up that milk you spilled. Oh, sure, I didn't see it. The girl called me down home. The menace? No, the wheel. Not just because my name's Wheeler, either. Why is it then? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. We have a date for you tomorrow night. For me? Mm, a lovely girl, Joyce Bennett. We thought we'd have dinner here and then maybe go to a movie, huh? Okay. Don't you want to know something about her? She's a girl, isn't she? <laughs> a rag, a bone, and a hank of hair. Huh? She's a girl, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> no, the thing is, Wheel, <clears throat> she's the daughter of one of your Uncle Gus's prospective clients. He's been stalking this Mr. Bennett for about three months. Ah, now I get it. Oh, no, you don't. That's not what I meant at all. All I meant was, oh, well, just mind your manners and see that Joyce has a good time. Okay, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like you, Aunt Vicky. Why did you marry Uncle Gus? Because I love him. And because he asked me. <laughs> Do you know what a neutron is? Sure. It's a tron that hasn't been used much. <laughs> Seriously, everything is made up of protons and neutrons. Everything. This house, that stove, you and me, this frying pan, everything. The protons revolve around the neutrons. My planets revolve around the sun, and the whole universe is revolving. Hey, Vicky, can it ever occur to you that we might be part of a great big giant frying pan? <laughs> Hi, hon, I'm on. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, gosh, he's the most fascinating boy. <laughs> Uncle Gus, this is your nephew, Wheeler. <laughs> Wheeler, this is your Uncle Gus. Hi, Uncle Gus. Well, well, well. I explained to Wheeler that you had an appointment this morning and you couldn't meet his train. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, uh, have a seat there, Wheeler. Thank you, sir. You two get acquainted. I'll, I'll finish getting dinner. Yeah, Aunt Vicky, I meant to put that away. Oh, don't worry about it. Well, well, well. <laughs> you have a night nice trip? Yes, sir. You got here on schedule? Yes, sir. <laughs> got a lot of things planned for you, Willa. Yes, sir. Uh, we can go to the beach. Yes, sir. Uh, we thought maybe we'd uh, drive up to the mountains next weekend. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's always nice baseball, and you like baseball. No, sir. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, there's lots to do around town. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me a minute, Wheeler. How you doing? Are you sure you met the right train? <laughs> but your sister's so pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> Honey, I hate to say this, but isn't that boy a shade stupid? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had an idiotic conversation just now you wouldn't believe. About how we're all part of a giant frying pan? <laughs> Don't let him bother. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks. All I could get at him was... Yes, sir. No, sir. 
When you get to know him better, you'll find that he talks all the time. Well, the house hasn't been quiet since he got here. <laughs> Right. Oh, that voice. <laughs> Honey, I'm not so sure that date with Joyce tomorrow was a good idea. You know, Bennett's a very important client. Well, you stop worrying, sweetie. Now go on back in there. Let him do the talking for change. A giant frying pan? <laughs> go on, start being an uncle. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Gus. What? <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, your Aunt Vicky said to let you do the talking. All right. How's the insurance business? Well, fine, sir. I've been thinking about your job, Uncle Gus. The way to sell insurance is to scare these guys. Uh, you think so? Sure. What would happen to Aunt Vicky if something happened to you? Suppose your house burned down during a tornado and a flood. <laughs> well, as a client I have in mind has accident insurance. As a matter of fact, he may not sign for three months. I'm trying to sign his company to a group policy. Oh, well, no wonder it's taking three months. What do you mean? Well, it takes longer to scare that many people. <laughs> Uncle Gus. With Uncle Gus? Yes. Well, the silly little talk just now. All he can say is, well, well, well. <laughs> he knows some other words. What were you talking about? His job. That's another thing. He don't know the first thing about selling insurance. <laughs> That kid's taking a shower again. <laughs> I'm beginning to steam off the wallpaper. No wonder he's so thin. He washes most of his skin down the drain. You don't like him, do you, Gus? Well, sure I do. It's only he was supposed to pick up Mr. Bennett's daughter 15 minutes ago. Well, why don't you pick her up with off Wheeler? You'll be ready by the time you get back. Like this? You look fine. Just put on a coat. But why do I the... tell Bennett? Well, tell him he's a very clean young man. <laughs> <laughs> right in, Joyce. Sweetheart, we're here. You were so long, I was getting a little worried. This is Joyce Bennett. This is Will, his Aunt Vicky. Hello, Joyce. <laughs> I'm afraid Wheeler's Aunt Vicky hasn't started off too well. Honey, the dinner's burned. I hope you like hot dogs and beans. <laughs> I thought we could cook a little buffet and everybody serve himself. Does that sound all right, Joyce? <laughs> well, I'd like you to meet Wheeler anytime. Wheeler, this is Joyce. <laughs> Wheeler! <laughs> this is Joyce Bennett. Hi. Anyway, Joyce, this is Wheeler. <laughs> this is Joyce Bennett. I know. I'll get the food. Is there anything I can do to help your wife, Mr. Angel? Uh, why don't you kids get those little TV tables out and I'll help get the food. Uh, this is Joyce. Hi. I think it's going to be all right. Of course it's going to be all right. Now that we know she talks. <laughs> she talks all right. She chatted all the way over here. Would you think that kid would have manners enough to stand up when he's introduced? Oh, he was sleepy. And he's not that kid. He happens to be your nephew. <coughs> but 
What are they doing? Walking around in circles with those TV tables. <laughs> Get away from the door, sweetheart. They'll see you. Ah, she sure is a nice kid. She certainly is. You think she likes him? Well, I think it's just as important that he like her. Are you all right, honey? Do you have to dynamite your way through the house? Honey, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Oh, I it was my fault anyhow. Oh, honey, that was a nasty crack. You sure you're all right? Outside of a loose nose, I'm as good as new. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I lost my temper, son. That's all right, Uncle Gus. Are you sure all right, Vicky? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I I just wouldn't want to hurt you. Well, that goes double. And we'll be real polite with Joyce, will you? I will. <laughs> Maybe Joyce doesn't want quite so much, Wheeler. This isn't for... <laughs> Here. I'm sorry, I didn't fancy, but... Uh... I know. Mrs. Angel burned the other day. I'm sorry Wheeler didn't get to meet your folks a little earlier this evening. They'll meet him when they pick me up. Oh, that's right. your mother and dad the other night, Joyce. <laughs> Blood, anybody? I <laughs> <laughs> was telling us all about new songs the other night, Joyce. Maybe we're going to have a scientist in the family. That'll be great. I hear they're shipping all of them to Pakistan. <laughs> That's why I'm considering science. Boy, you get to be a barber, an insurance man, or some stale thing like that, you never go anywhere. Be all right. Let's not talk about it. Whatever you say. Honey, will you do me a favor? Will you get that kid to stop talking about insurance? You know, Joyce is nobody's cool, you know. You mean Mama Lisa? <laughs> what can she do about it? He sits as far away from her as he can get. Maybe it's better that way. That way he can't slash anything on her. <laughs> that the bed of the count means more to you than your own flesh and blood. By marriage. <laughs> you getting enough to eat, Joy? That'd look darling on you. Maybe with a little white around here. Look. <laughs> Wheeler, maybe if you ate a little more quietly, I could hear what Joyce is saying. She said, Blimp. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I don't believe we're going to make that movie. That's okay. George's old man said he'd be by for early. <laughs> Joyce's father. 
father. That's what I said. <laughs> How does it all work? What has Joyce's father to do with our stove? I fixed it. You see, you weren't getting enough oxygen to the oven. So I took the pliers. Oh, you burned our What dinner. time are Joyce's folks coming by? Early. Maybe you can sell Joyce's old man that policy tonight. That father! Joyce's father! God, no! <laughs> All right. Honey, I know he deserves it, but don't you dare belt that boy. <laughs> I won't. If you promise not to belt the girl. <laughs> I'm afraid the Bennett account is out the window. Oh, I know. Don't you care? No, nah, you were right. Blood is thicker than Bennett's daughter. <laughs> Don't move anybody, I'll get it. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Becky. Hi, Mom. Hello, honey. Come on, I want you to meet my nephew. Wheeler, this is Mrs. Bennett. Hi there, Wheel. Hi. Where's Daddy? Oh, the car growled back at him, so he's out looking under the hood before we call the auto club. Oh, Maybe I can help. Oh, Wheeler, wait a minute, don't... <laughs> Exciting. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, Mom, he's the most perfectly marvelous boy. He's going to be a scientist and go to Pakistan. And he says the funniest things you ever heard. He fixed the stove so that Mrs. Angel burned the dirt. And she fixed an even better one in five minutes flat. <laughs> then Thursday, he's going to teach me how to play golf. If we can use Daddy's club. I'm just not going to have a minute while he's here. <laughs> All I heard them say was hi. <laughs> Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> it sounds like you had a large evening. See, <laughs> Mrs. Angel, I've had a perfectly marvelous time. Real flim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then you like the dress. Hello, oh, Mrs. Bennett. Oh, hello. Was that Mr. Bennett out front with Wheeler? Yes. Yes, Wheeler's helping him fix his car. Not the raging bar on that job, Mr. Bennett. You have a real bomb. I'll think about it, Wheel. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Gus. Hi, Charlie. Say, this one you got here is a real mechanical genius. He fixed the car? No, but he had sense enough to admit that he couldn't. <laughs> You had my insurance program all mapped out. I have to find it out from Wheel here. But Wheel it isn't. Uncle Gus, I promised Mr. Bennett I'd drive him home. Come on, we better get started. Uh, why don't I drive you home, Charlie? You said I could, Uncle Gus. Daddy, we need your golf club Thursday. All right, honey. Stop by the office. We'll talk about that insurance. After listening to Wheel, I'm afraid to wait. <laughs> Okay. We'll make it Monday, huh? All right, fine. Good night, Vicky. Uh, nine o'clock, sir? Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Goodbye. Honey, I better go along. That kid treats insurance like it was Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Gus, you almost flew it. I got him all told. I scared the daylight out of him. <laughs> You can't sell insurance? Well, don't tell Charlie Bennett that till he signs. <laughs> hey, he did come to the point with Bennett at that. He certainly did. Yeah. He's quite a boy. Well, he sure is. Well, well, well. That's my nephew. <laughs> yes, sir. And he's due back in Biloxi by Saturday. Limp. <laughs> Got a date with an angel, gonna meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven.
Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program Top Tunes and You Tell It on this same network. And the dramatic show Climax every week on another network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.